Hello and welcome to this PPR econ on externality diagrams. Okay, so um, everything in the middle of the screen, that screen there is what you need to draw these diagrams. Okay, so we're going to go through all four. Um, so let's start off with um, negative in production. Okay, so negative in production. The way you start these diagrams is start off with the socially optimum level. Okay, so that's where marginal social costs equal marginal social benefits. So this is the price and the quantity you want to get to. Okay, so if there's negative externalities, that means currently in the free market they're being over consumed. So we need to produce less of them to get to Q1. Okay, so once you've done that, it's fairly straightforward. Production, as you can see in purple there, is due with costs which we reflect in the supply curve. So the only place we can put an equilibrium that would mean in the free market we're producing more than Q1 is there. Okay, so that is our marginal private cost there. So that's Q star, bring it across, and that is P star. Okay, and the final thing you have to do is identify the area of dead weight loss. And in order to do that, you go from your free market position to your socially optimum position, and you make a triangle out of that. And that's your area of dead weight loss. And that is basically your diagram for negative externalities in production done. Um, and the key thing to remember is the arrow that you just drawn, the dead weight loss arrow, points the same way as the arrow you drew to help you understand where to put your second curve. Okay, so let's move on then. Let's do a slightly different one. Let's do positive in consumption. Um, so again, start off socially optimum position where your marginal social costs are equal to your marginal social benefit. Okay, and again, you want to get to P1 and Q1. Okay, so that's where we want to get to. Um, if there's positive, that means in the free market they're being under-consumed, as you can see in green. So we need our R to point that way. We need to consume more of these, um, this product, whatever it is. For example, it might be education. Okay, so the only place we can draw a demand curve, because consumption is reflected by benefits, which is the demand curve, that has an equilibrium which is less than Q1, is there. Marginal private benefit. Okay, so we've got P star, and we've got Q star. And again, you go from your, so your privately free market position to your socially optimum position, and you make a triangle out of that, and that is your area of dead weight loss. And that points the same way as we had the R down here, pointing that way. Okay, so that is for positive in consumption. Uh, moving on, so let's do positive in production down here. So again, start off, and hope you hope you've got the picture now. So marginal social costs, marginal social benefit. This is where we want to get to. So this is P1, apologies, and this is Q1. So we want to get to this position. So again, it's positive, which means Q1 isn't big enough. Okay, we need we need to consume more of this product. So we need to have our RO pointing that way. Sorry, okay. So production, purple, cost, supply curve. The only place we can put our private costs to create an equilibrium which is less than Q1 is there. So that's marginal private costs. That creates, oh no, I'm going to do this. That creates, sorry, a P star. And it also creates Q star there. Okay? And like previously, you go from your free market position to your socially optimum position, and you make a triangle out of it. The triangle should point the same way as the triangle or the arrow we drew down here and that is positive in production. And the final one then is um, 
we will do negative in consumption, for example, alcohol. So start off marginal social costs, marginal social benefit. This point is our socially optimum position. So Q1 and P1 is where we want to get to. Okay, negative, again, is overconsumed. So currently in the free market, we are producing too much of it, or consuming too much of it. So we have to get to Q1, we have to consume less. Consumption is to do with benefits, which is the demand curve. So the only place we can put a new demand curve, which creates a uh, quantity which is higher than Q1, is here at MPB. Okay, so then we've got Q star, and we've got P star. And the last thing we have to do, as usual, is you go from your free market equilibrium to your socially optimum position, and you make a triangle out of that, which points the same way as there are below. Okay, and that is an area of dead weight loss. So just to recap, first thing you do is you identify the socially optimum position where marginal social costs equal marginal social benefits. And then you draw an arrow to reflect if currently it has been overconsumed or produced or underconsumed or produced. You create the new equilibrium, you draw the new privately optimum position, uh, and then your dead weight loss points the same way as the arrow that you've drew. Okay, so um, if you didn't get all them diagrams correct, have another go at going through them now until you've mastered them. Thank you very much.